Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Hello, my fellow Scorpio. So uh, this is going to be our uh, our reading for tarot reading that is for the August 12th to August 18th, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a second to shuffle to shuffle our tarot cards, and uh, we're gonna jump right into a pre-trio. Um, that's my air conditioning, by the way. It's gonna stop in a second. Uh, I'm pre trio to uh, I'm quite looking forward to to see what awaits us into this week um, for not something in particular you know but it's kind of like it's a bit boring here and uh, that's uh, I, I, I'm looking forward for something that is gonna make me excited so that being said, going to the first card, which stands for the topic of uh, our week here, it's going to be the Sun card. So it's, it's as, it is as good as it gets with the Sun card. It's just, <clears throat> you, oh, um, the, the Sun and the Moon card and the uh, Star card, well, it's, it's basically they are the most pleasant. I don't want to say positive or negative because in Tarot there isn't positive and negative. There is pleasant and unpleasant cards, all right? So it's the, the, the star and the, um, and the sun, for me at least, are the most pleasant cards into the Tarot. Uh, the challenges that we do have is going to be the justice and of course the week has to be a bitch, really. It's because, you know, we have a week where we can truly enjoy our things and truly enjoy ourselves and this the justice here comes around and says, no, you have a job to do, you know, no, no, no. You have some responsibilities that you need to take care of. Oh my God, give us a break. And then we do have the uh, Nine of Swords, which is the positive aspect here. And the final one is going to be the Hangman, which is the guidance that the Tarot is offering to us. So yeah, uh, first of all, it looks like that the week is going to be uh, very happy, all right, or kind of like very pleasant and positive. That is due to the fact that with the Sun card here and the Justice, although the Justice works is as a challenge to us, we are going to have these um, energy of expanding growth on our behalf. And that's why the week itself is gonna go hard on us all right it's gonna make us work it's gonna make us do what we are supposed to do all right so for example if you are craving for a relationship the week itself is gonna the circumstances in the week itself is are, is gonna urge you to start dating with people even though you may not have the how can i place it the mood for it all right you want to be successful into your career well the week the circumstances itself are gonna throw you in it into the lions you know into the pits and you will have to perform it it's as simple as that now it's very important here to acknowledge that the sun is also a card about a natural unfoldment so that being said it's uh we need to acknowledge that that is the natural process that we need to fulfill so we can have you know our growth you want to be in a relationship for example you can't expect to close uh in your home or to work 23 hours of 24 and to find someone to be in a relationship with because no one is going to come and knock on your door you know i mean you have to go out and date with people you have to go out go out and socialize 
Uh, same thing goes into career. I mean, if you are displeased with your job, a new job ain't gonna fall from the sky or something. It's just you have to start searching for one. So what the week is gonna do here for us guys is force us to do the natural and necessary stuff so we can grow and improve either into our career or either into our relationship. And even if we are severely displeased at the start, at the end, we are gonna be very proud of ourselves what we came up with. Because the sun offers, like I said, growth. It offers a, 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 a pleasant experiences. Some of, the, uh, some of the books that I read, it says that the sun is about a happy new beginning, although I don't share this one. But <clears throat> according to Alistair Crowley, it's, uh, it's a card foretelling in an event that will fulfill us with a warmth, joy, you know, and a sense of... Um, stability okay so it could be monetary success it could be our new relationship it could be our new job as well but it's not gonna come as a gift it's the point here and uh, the good thing about the week is that we don't have to even toil about it. well we have to but we don't have to try to figure it out because the universe had it figured out for us for a change so before we go card by card here to scrutinize the reading let's run the cards one more time uh, we do have the Sun card, which stands for the topic, followed by the uh, Justice card, which represents the challenges. Afterwards, it is the Nine of Swords, which is the positive aspect. And then the last one is going to be the uh, Hangman, which is the guidance. So the Sun card, I pretty much explained it here. It's uh, It represents the uh, these expanding energies of growth, a uh, vitality that we're going to have, positive attitude as well, and all these things which are accompanying enthusiasm and ambition as well, determination. I don't know how to say it. It's like motivation. It is the right word. So yeah, even though the week may throw you a lot of... Um, responsibilities you know a lot of chores that you will have to that you will have to attend to the whole ambition that you are to prevail at the end will help you go through them and you ain't gonna even break a sweat about it the accompanied card here is going to be the um the empress so the formation it is a active neutrals there is nothing to talk about to to think about it is what these two cards says it's pretty much have been decided back in the days a few weeks ago a couple of months ago or uh, you name it now you have a one of the two uh, variations right you either could self pity yourself or you can start doing what is necessary to reap the fruits of your labor either bitter or sweet but the point with these two cards guys is that the time for making a decisions is far from of uh, uh, it's it's kind of like it's long time gone now i mean you had to make your made made up your mind up until this moment and i guess you pretty much did i i know what this relates to me and i pretty much did you know in a uh, three weeks ago and it's um uh, it's something that I'm going to regret at all because I know my righteousness and it's the, the justice as well could reflect to that, that you may have, you may struggle to know your righteousness, that you have been righteous, but you were, right? And you, you, you need to be in the same page with yourself. So justice itself as a uh, challenge is here, like I said, it does represent sorting out your responsibilities in this case, okay? Uh, it's very important not to prioritize things that you want to favor. Uh, just to give you an example here, you know, you may love to, how can I place it, to clean your home, all right? But in the same time, you need to make a renovation. So what you do here is prioritize the renovation and then clean your home. Do not clean your home before the renovation because after the renovation, you have to clean your home again. It's, it's, it's a simple common sense, you know, but it is easier said than done. I mean, it's easier said from a side than, than done from a, a first person is because people get carried away. It's no different than, for example, that the key for happiness is to do what makes you happy. It's easier said than done. It sounds very simple, but it isn't, you know? 
just to give you an example, one morning you wake up and you are not feeling like going into work. Can you afford it? No, you have to go to work. So instantly you have an event that makes you miserable, but yet you have to oblige it because it is how you live. Because if you don't go to work, you're not going to have money to pay your rent, to pay your amenities and all these kind of stuff. So it's not as simple as that. So that being said, it will be very beneficial for you people to, or for us, that is, to um, make up to-go list, right? To uh, scratch out what we are planning to do throughout the, throughout the week. And probably when we see it a couple of times, we are going to rearrange it a little bit so we can be much more efficient here. And um, last but not least, it's about self-righteousness, okay? Whatever tough decision you made back in the days, well, this week is gonna prove itself a, um, a, a testament for your decision well made, okay? The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Swords. Formation, it is a active supporters. It's very heavy energy. That This is a thing that you need to know. It's heavy and it is aggressive energy. It pretty much represents that uh, you will have to be rather very uh, harsh, right? Um, putting on a smile, it's um, or putting on a smile or putting on a, uh, a, a pity, I don't know how to say it really. I mean, for example, let's say that you are a... Um, a boss, you own a company, and there is someone who consistently and contiguously screws up project after project. So what do you do? You say, don't worry, you're going to fit in or uh, you're going to get the hang of it. Or you said, get out, leave, you know, it's, it's just as simple as that. So that, that will be as well a challenge for you to be rather straight to the point, cut it through the chest and... Uh, no, how do you say it? No compromises whatsoever, especially with yourself, because this is about you. This is about us. This is about us growing, not other people growing because uh, on, on our account, on our expense. Okay. So the next one, it's uh, about the positive aspect and that will be the nine of swords. So nine of swords, it stands for recognizing the, uh, the impact of, of the situations. So whatever situation arises, either regarding career or either regarding relationship, friendship, no matter, you will immediately going to be able to assess the situation in such a way that you will be able to foretell the pros and the cons from it, what it takes, all right? And is it okay for you to do it? Which is going to give you a lot of rooms for a freedom here with the Nine of Swords. The accompanied card is going to be the Emperor of Formation. It is a active friends that we do have. And uh, you are going to be totally in control of your, uh, of your relationship life and of your career life as well. And you need control. We need control because, as we said, the challenges are not going to be easy on us, guys. We are going to have a lot of a, uh, a tendencies to, 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 to attend to, okay? We're gonna have a lot of enterprises that we need to be very sharp about. And um, people who are hesitant, people who are uh, more concerned about the others than for themselves are gonna struggle with it. But, but you know, I don't have that problem. So it's kind of like, it, it does look like a, a very productive week for me because ultimately at the end, I will say it that way, it may sound a, a bit reckless from my from my mouth, you know, it's, it may sound very selfish, but uh, we have to face it. It's just like this, it goes like that. If we don't take care for our own happiness as an individual, that is, no one else will. So, uh, because whatever your, for example, boss or, or, or wife or husband does for you to make you happy, it is because that makes them happy as well. I mean, they're going to do something makes them miserable. So to make you happy, they may, but they may, uh, they will expect from you to do the same. So <clears throat> one day, you know, in the future, or maybe tomorrow, who knows? But the thing here is that we need to acknowledge that it is time to, to make ourselves happy and to make ourselves lucrative, to make ourselves um, growing, okay? And that will happen because of us, not because of someone else. And on top of that, we shouldn't allow anybody to grow because of us, all right? Or if they do, they have to pretty damn sure 
uh, they have to make it pretty damn sure that they're going to pay us, compensate us in a, such, in a certain way. And the last one, it's about uh, the guidance. And that will come to us as a shock. Uh, probably, uh, I said that I don't have that problem, but probably many of you does, you know, because people are gentle. I, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of in shock to, to see how much people care for each other. Not just, you know, in, in the United States, but everywhere in the world. I didn't have the privilege to grow into such an environment. So but in my environment, not in my family, but in my environment on the street and all that in my school, it's, it was every man for themselves, right? So I guess no one can blame me for that standpoint. But the thing is that I am kind of amazed, you know, how people care for each other. And many of us Scorpio are going to be in shock with this certain realization that we have to attend to our life from a different manner, from a different standpoint, where we kind of approach a little bit selfishly here. Like first to think for ourselves and for our growing and expanding energy and then to think of, you know, how this is going to, um, for example, affect our neighbor or coworker that we never, that we doesn't even know their name, you know, or the person into the cafeteria that we see just cup, uh, couple of times a week that we still don't know their name and etc etc it's just it's not our concern because this week shows us everybody goes with their fate and no matter what you do you cannot fight fate it's simple as that and uh, the last one here is going to be the temperance the formation it is a passive uh, Passive enemies, uh, very peculiar. So the temperance uh, to the hangman, it's, um, well, I don't want to lie to us or to you guys. It's a sign that you s we still can maintain our position of compassion and empathizement. Is it going to benefit us? Well, it's a bit of a struggle. To me, it seems that no, because it pretty much looks like a conflict of interest. You do something for yourself and same time, you know, you sympathize to other. It's kind of like sounds like an internal struggle. And as a, a passive new, a passive enemy is here, you know, you pretty much need to go to the extreme for yourself. OK, it's it's just I, that, that, that's the message. I completely understand it, right? It sound, you, you can't believe how loud it sounds into my, into my ears right now. I am kind of eased. I know I made the right choice here. I hope you did the same. So that being said, Scorpio, this was your weekly tarot reading, August 12th to uh, August 18th, uh, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.